we're back in the bathroom and I'm sure as everyone noticed there's a opening here for a medicine cabinet we uh, framed it so we could get a big storage in here um, it is a pretty big space uh, but I want to spend this episode just sort of showing you how we're going to make a medicine cabinet. Um, one thing that I didn't film but now is done is I've put in a Corian, um, Corian sill piece. And so now we're going to have to put the sides up. And I got a little electrical here so we can have an outlet in the medicine cabinet. Uh, and then, if you can see that up at the top is the outlet for the perimeter lighting. Uh, more about that later, but yeah, so this is, we got our start. Uh, now let's start making, uh, making the rest of the cabinet. Okay, so I've got our jams here. Uh, it's Baltic birch plywood and I took it to work and had it line board uh, for shelves. So now the first thing we need to do here is cut them to length. So let's go do that. Okay, so we got our two sides cut. I'm gonna go like this. And this outlet over here, so and here we're gonna have to cut in an outlet box. So that's what's next. Okay, we've got our uh, little remodel box uh, with these little ears. That's gonna work nice. So I'm just gonna lay this box about where I want it. Square here. Make sure we're square. Okay, so there's a box. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways, a bunch of different ways to cut this out. Um, I think I'm going to do an assortment of things. So first thing I'm going to do is take it to the chop saw. finish it off with the jigsaw.
It's a little tricky. Got a vent pipe here. And, uh, some wires also in there, so. Done. Okay, so here's our jam. Our outlet cut in. Uh, this is the left side. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, half inch square piece and I'm gonna glue it onto the edge like that. And I will explain the purpose of that here in a moment. All right, so let me try to get this. We got a jumbo size dry erase board now. So kind of all grown up. Um, so let me explain a couple of things here. Um, usually, if you're looking down, say here's a wall. Uh-oh. -uh. Say here's a wall. We're looking down on this wall. And so every 16 inches or so, boy, every 16 inches or so, you have a stud. So far, so good. Now, let's say we're going to put a window or a door or something in here. So here you're going to have your sheet rock. See, this is inside. This is out. So let's say we're going to put, let's say we're going to put a medicine cabinet in here. So what you're going to have is you're going to have a jam, which is the full, full thickness of the wall. And then you would remove the sheetrock. Makes sense. The jam is the full width of the window or the window, the width of the wall, including the finish. That way it sort of finishes this end. Now, if we zoom closer, here's your jam. Here's the sheetrock. Usually what people do is they put trim right here. It's called casing. Uh, anytime you have trim around a door or a window, it's called casing. A lot of people say, oh, the, the door frame or the window frame. There really is no such thing as a door or a window frame. Usually when people say the frame, they're referring to the, uh, I don't know. I think my markers are frozen. They're usually referring to the trim that goes around a window. Door frame, really it's the door casing. So this is kind of standard. There'll be a little gap here probably. And then you span that gap with your trim. What we're gonna do on this is something that I've never done before. If here's our wall, here's our sheetrock. Here's our jam. I'm actually gonna run the jam past the sheetrock, and then I'm gonna add a half inch piece right here. And there is going to be no casing anywhere in this place. It's just gonna be an extended jam that's built up um, this is probably going to be an inch to an inch and a quarter. So one of the tricky things is I, you know, I have to make a pretty clean cut on my sheetrock. Let's 
glue there. What I like to do when you're gluing something, give it a little side to side. You can actually feel the glue start to tack up when you do that. Especially when you're gluing parts that are a little loose like this, they're going to have a tendency to wander around. Especially after you clamp them. So, you can't clamp it. Just want to make sure it's flush on the outside here, flush on the end. Yeah, and then we're just going to go and do some more clamping. Okay, so I jumped ahead a little bit. I got uh, our extra pieces put on. Uh, got the cut up for the outlet. Got a cut out up here so you can get your hand in to uh, plug in uh, the light. That's the perimeter light. It's going to be LED strip light. Um, you can't have kind of a outlet buried in the wall if the LED strip light ever fails or we want to replace it or whatever. You just can reach up there and plug it. Um, and I do have some sealer on it. Again, my Skidmore beeswax sealer, it's the best. So, uh, when I was at work today, I cut the door blank. Uh, so let me go grab that. And Carmen picked up the mirror and uh, kind of put that together and see how that works. Okay, I've realized that I have a lot more work to do when it comes to filming these shop projects. Um, even though my shop is not put together, um, I mean the battery died. I've gotten a lot further on the medicine cabinet. Um, I just actually nailed the back on after I, I sanded it and sealed it. And now I got my hinges on and I've actually test fit it and realized that I need to do some uh, scribing to get it to fit nice and tight in the medicine cabinet that's there. So uh, apologies for skipping steps, uh, but honestly, it's just a lot of work to, to film stuff as I'm working and I'm not quite used to it. So don't worry, we'll get there. This is just the first of many projects. Okay. We've got a problem on our medicine cabinet. Um, let, wait for the camera to stop bouncing around. Um, we've got a problem with the medicine cabinet and it involves the door. So hopefully you can see this. I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. So let me give you a different view. Okay, uh, I feel like what I showed you on the bench didn't really explain too much about how this door is wonky. So uh, I hung it back on the medicine cabinet and I can show you what I'm talking about. So see down here, the door is nice and tight. Up here, it's not a lot, maybe a quarter inch or so but it's gonna be a problem because I'm gonna glue a mirror to this panel. So if this panel isn't flat, then the mirror is not gonna be flat. And I'm a little concerned it's gonna turn into a little bit of a funhouse mirror when you're looking at it, like the top of your head's gonna look pointy or fat. So I've got an idea to fix it. Uh, Got to go back up to the shop, but I don't think I've shown the fully installed medicine cabinet. I don't have the shelves in, but it's installed. Here you can kind of see the little detail with the, the gap. Um, got the outlet for the toothbrush. 
So, yeah, we're gonna have to take this thing out to the shop and I'll show you the plan to fix it. Okay, so here we got our door and um, I'm gonna kind of show you what we ended up doing. So, here's what I did. I basically ripped these pieces apart, ripped the center section out, and then I put just some little, ripped some strips and um, pocket screwed them. And now, instead of that whole panel being uneven, now we've taken a lot of that twist out. So it's still a little twisted, um, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. So now I feel comfortable to glue the mirror on. So, as you can see, I need to put a couple more shelves here. I made this little um, box, uh, both to ho hold the cords and uh, Harman's blow dryer. She plugs her thing. Cut out a little slot back there, so if this needs to move, it can. Here you see the makeup of the door. Um, the plan was always to put a second mirror in here, inside it. Um, because the nice thing when you're when you're hunched over the sink, it's kind of hard to get close. But the nice thing is this opens far enough where, you know, if you need to really get in there and do some do some work, it's right there. So we'll glue in a mirror there, a couple more shelves. Other than that, it's a, it's a done project. So yeah, super slow mo close, and here we are. Back at the beginning.